Hey folks, welcome to the Almond Landscape YouTube channel. Uh, we are working on today preparation for this will be a multi-part series, but we're working on we are going to be putting pavers in here and under the porch area, and uh, this is going to be awesome. So what we're doing is we're prepping for. This was based in months ago. Uh, and so what we're doing is we're prepping for pavers installation here. And so we used our laser. We found our benchmark of home of what the top of our pavers are going to be here. Uh, since we've got all base under here, I just set my grade. Awesome. I'm sure the Spectra CR700 maybe can take that. I don't know. So what we're going to do is we're going to peel this down to where it's bottom of bottom of our uh, bedding layer so that we can get this compacted. So we're just going to peel this down here so we're three inches below the finish because we've already got six inches of base below us here, four to six inches. Then I'm going to bring in my reversible plate compactor, our great big Mikasa here. Mikasa here. Uh, this is a 12,000 pound centrifugal force compactor. It's a freaking monster. So this thing's an absolute beast. And uh, this thing will compact about 12 inches of base, dense grade if you want. Uh, so we're going to run that over this once I knock down that high spot there and uh, we're going to run a, a lift of compaction and uh, and by the way all this terminology if you want to know the full in depth of it a two and a half hour long training course we have on retaining walls and pavers at thehardscapeacademy.com check that out we sell it there for 150 bucks you can learn how to make 10,000, 20,000, 50, 100,000 dollar paper projects because you then learn the, the, the principles of paver construction. So check that out there. It's, it's an insane value for $150 because we want it to be accessible to everybody. It's really worth a thousand bucks. I want it accessible to everybody that wants to pivot out of lawn care or start a division or whatever. So anyways, we're gonna do all that stuff and uh, get going here. I came through here earlier and I pumped a bunch of water out of our uh, advanced drainage systems uh, rainwater harvest tank uh, because our, it was super dry. It's been under roof for 10, for 10 months for four to six months i don't even know we want the proper moisture content here because if it's dry and powdery it's not the the base because this is all dense grade in here uh you, you lose that cohesive uh nature of it so you're in here hiding some hardscaper you are in here hiding in the heat it's like 70 degrees in here by the way sneak peek at the facility here how cool is that all right here we go this point here we've so we did our compaction now we're bringing in number 57 and Brit's checking with the laser it's Z we've set it this is another YouTube video but we set zero as our benchmark along the building for top of 57 or TOB top of base so we've only got one inch of fall because it's in here under roof all that whatever over 10 feet so it's gonna read zero out midway should be read negative half inch out here should read minus one inch how are we Oh, is okay. So we're checking that out. Now, like right there, should read negative three quarters in theory. That should be negative half. With this system, you can make up to about two inches of difference total uh, with your number nines. So all this is good out here. We're out the edge of the gutter, and then we need six inches of base extension on top of that. We still got build up that corner, but we're just starting here and working our way on around. So here we go. What's up folks, here we are, big day today, laying out the front landing here for the entry to the building and uh, using Unilock, big thanks to Unilock by the way for the pavers, partner here at the Hardscape Academy, so we wanna thank them for that. Beautiful double herringbone, so double paver like that, that Unilock Copthorne paver, set on a, you saw the video of clean stone, our uh, bedding layer now of uh, this number nine stone, screeded out on, yeah. uh, these uh, with these screed rails which yes we will pull those up uh, they're set and the guys set them with uh, our zip here to the proper heights that we're looking for one inch of fall over this 10 foot here a uh, little bit under a one percent slope but we're under a roof so we're not worried about it we just wanted to uh, you know the snow that would might drift in here or whatever we want that that melt to, to drift out of here so or to melt and run out of here if we need to so uh, with that being said, double herringbone like herringbone like this, uh, 
we could be running a string line and all that stuff but it's such a small area we're just going to stand back and and shift and massage pavers as needed to get a little better lines but with this product being the way it is because it's supposed to mimic old world charm and it does it's a beautiful paver um they're all you know irregular and uh bearing heights and all that kind of stuff so um you got to kind of work with them but they're gonna look beautiful especially when we run a roller compactor of that too it'll work a lot of that out of it so as far as any undulations and height as you know paver to paver but uh looking uh, really awesome so very cool so what you'll see um in in videos coming down the uh down the road here for the flanking sides we're going to be putting in this unilock arcana paver but uh just a beautiful beautiful paver with that uh those flecks of color and it's going to be awesome um this pallet's falling over and trying to kill somebody so uh but the packaging is interesting use rope uh you know a bead of nylon big fat uh nylon rope like that to uh sandwich them so that they're protected during shipping. And anytime you get a delivery, you always want to try to open these up and kind of look through them, make sure the, the delivery A is the right color, the right quantity. Make sure you know, there's not some obnoxiously obvious, like busted, uh, you know, entire units and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, but even still, a good dealer will take care of that. You know, should you dig into it, just you know, get a hold of your your TM, your territory managers, your reps, or whatever, and a good supplier and. Simcoe is our supplier at the moment for, and has been for a while for our Unilock uh, material, and they take great care of us, and uh, they're, they're awesome. So this is gonna look really sharp. With that being said, um, our side yard is beginning, but it's a teaser, so you have, have to wait for the next shop tour video. But, uh, oh man, whoa, we actually got a ton of room back here. This is so cool. Wow, this is such great news. You have to catch the next video. This is so this is so cool. We actually look like we got our act together. You have to watch the next YouTube video on this. I don't like doing teasers like this, but this is cool. Uh, man, this is awesome. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one.